These are problems that have more than one transformation in them. So looking at number nine, we have this negative two on the outside of the radical, which means it goes down two. And we have this negative three on the inside of the radical, which means it goes right three. Looking in front of the radical here, there's no negative and there's no number. So this one has not been reflected and it hasn't been dilated. Looking at number 10, we don't have a number added here, but this negative one could be moved to here. So now we do have a number, so it's down one, and the plus five on the inside means it goes to the left five. And looking right in front of the radical, there's a positive, so it's not reflected, and there's not a number, so it's not dilated. Looking at number 11, we have the plus five on the outside, so it goes up five. We have plus one on the inside, so it goes left one. And we have this one half here in front of the radical, which means it is dilated and it's been shrunk. Looking at number 12, we have plus three, so it's gone up three. This plus four means it's gone to the left four. This three, we're gonna ignore the negative for right now. The three means it's been dilated. And since three is bigger than one, it's been stretched. And then since there is a negative here, it's also been reflected.